Welcome to Cooking with Drew. That was good. Today is Saturday. I will be walking you through all the meals I eat today, starting with breakfast. We are going to make some bacon, egg, and cheese bagels. Um, this is, I'd say, actually a pretty atypical breakfast. I normally just have oatmeal, but I wanted to spoil Max and Noah a little bit, so here we go. My uh, first cooking tip, if you're gonna cook, oil, cook with oil, avocado oil. How often do you cook a week? Um, I try to cook all my meals. I'll probably go out to eat once or twice a week for like a breakfast or a dinner or something or if I have friends in town or whatnot, but I really try to cook most of my meals just because I want to know what I'm putting in my body and I feel like I have way more control that way. There you go. Bacon, egg, cheddar cheese. Uh. Welcome back to Cooking with Drew, lunch edition. So, lunches are always like the simplest meal for me, um, just because normally I have like a really big breakfast. Um, and I'm honestly not that hungry around lunch, but it's so important for me to actually get in some calories in the middle of the day. So, for lunch today, I'm doing just a sandwich. I use some Dave's Killer bread, organic bread. I'll put half an avocado on it. I'll put some cheddar cheese and then some black forest ham. Um, and then I'll, on the side I'll have, this normally depends, sometimes I'll have potato chips, but today I felt like having some carrots, so. That's what we're doing. Uh, very simple, but this will help me get through my bike session later today. Look how perfect it is. I'm about to smash it. That took a lot of strength. How is it? Very sandwichy. <laughs> we'll get the job done. <laughs> well, here we are. Third meal of the day and cooking with Drew. We just finished up my last training session for the day. Just did an easy 45 minute bike. And yeah, it is Saturday, so tomorrow's long run day. Um, typically, I like to eat some sort of like really carb heavy meal before long runs. So tonight we're gonna go with my world famous homemade pasta. It's not really homemade. I just kind of made up the recipe. Um, the guys actually really like this one, so I always come back to it. Um, it's really, really simple. So we have a half pound of mild Italian pork sausage, and we have another half pound of spicy Italian pork sausage. Um, inside that, uh, the sauce, we're gonna also have one red pepper, about a half an onion, and all of these mushrooms. Um, and we're gonna use this sauce, the marinara rouse, I don't know and uh, just season it with salt, pepper, and garlic salt. Um, we'll throw some bread in before just to kind of, you know, I just train so I want to get some fuel in me. Um, and then we will always, we always have a side of a vegetable. So we'll just have, you know, simple summer salad, you know, some mixed greens with uh, strawberries and like a vinaigrette dressing. So really simple, but I think, um, you know, this is a really good, uh, well-balanced meal. So let's do it. Step one, uh, just start kind of cooking the pork sausage. Um, the vegetables will take, they're easy to cook and they'll be pretty quick. So kind of start browning the meat first. Um, So we've let the meat brown for about five minutes, and now I'm gonna add in the uh, 
onions and red pepper. So, and then we will cook them for another five minutes or so and then we'll add the mushrooms. In go the shrooms. I normally put them in last just because they took let, take like half the time that everything else does to kind of cook. So that's the last sort of vegetable oven here. Now I'm going to add the pasta. I've been using, this is like the brand I like. I get it from Whole Foods. Um, it's really, really good. Um, and yeah, it comes in these like bundles of pasta and you just kind of put them into the boiling water. So it's kind of fun. All right, so we've had everything kind of cooking up for a bit. So the last step is I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of salt. I mean, you have like the salt from the, uh, from the meat and everything, but just add a little bit more, some pepper, um, just for a little bit more flavor. And then I always like to cook with garlic salt, so I'll throw a little bit of that in there. Um, and finally, just put in uh, the marinara sauce. So, um, and then I'll just kind of let it stir it around a little bit and um, I'll let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes so and here's a little here's a little here's a little pro tip ready come here at the bottle come to the sink fill it up with a little bit of water Joe Clucker showed me this shouts Joe shake it around a little bit boom perfect yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing that I've learned, and I am not a dietitian or nutritionist, <laughs> full disclaimer, I am just showing you guys what I eat, so, yeah, and I think everyone is different, um, but working with my nutritionist, we learned that I was underfueling most of the time, so the most important thing for me is just to, like, just feed the engine, really, is just, like, eat as many calories as I can, eat well-balanced like meals with, you know, vegetables, protein, carbs, and, and that's kind of what I try to base everything off of, you know, like I don't really restrict myself anymore. I think I definitely did that a little bit in the past, but if I want to have a big bowl of pasta, I'm going to have a big bowl of pasta. If I want ice cream, I'm going to have ice cream, and, um, and I just think that that's what makes me happy and that's what's going to lead to me performing the best. There's only one way to know if it's done. It's not done. It's not done. <laughs> There's only one way to tell if they're done. It's not done. Stop throwing it. There's only one way to tell. <laughs> Shut up! Sorry. There's only one way to tell. The noodles are done. They're done now. <laughs> so we are done cooking. We got the salad, the bread, the pasta, the pasta sauce. Just gotta feed the boys now. This right here, right here is my, uh, my family and we have dinner together every night and um, finish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and we are good to go. All right, somebody give me the verdict. Well, you gotta add the Parmesan cheese. The verdict, cheese. all right, we're gonna get one, as we can see here, we have one piece of noodle.